The MD register is a joint project between Oxford University and King's College London. The idea is that if we can find every single person with motor neurone disease, we'll understand more about the condition. Ideally, we'd collect this information with knowledge about where each person lives so that we can then tell if there are hot spots and cold spots. If there are hot spots, that might tell us about risk factors in that area, and if there are cold spots, it might even help us know if there are protective factors. At present, there's really very little information about this, and the register will help us to capture this data. There are many benefits to having a national register. The most important is that by understanding exactly where people are who have motor neurone disease, and how many there are, we can map that and compare it with the services available to each person. That way, if there are any areas in the country which don't have enough services, we can lobby for more. You might be surprised to know that at present we don't know exactly how many people will have motor neurone disease. This makes it very, very difficult to plan, care for people and resources. It also means we can't really identify whether the disease is changing over time. The other great use of a register is for research. We can tell the incidence and the prevalence of motor neurone disease. Those are figures used in research to tell us how frequent the condition is and how many people have it at any one time. We can also tag onto it other research projects so that if someone registers and is interested, we can contact them, for example, to take blood or to let them know about clinical trials. There are a number of ways in which you can get involved in the register. When you first receive a diagnosis of motor neurone disease, your clinical team will give you information about how you can sign up. There is also the website where you can register your own details independently. If you'd like to self-register, just go to the website and fill in the form. Most of the questions are very easy and they all help us to understand the pattern of motor neurone disease that you have. This helps us match with the other information we've collected and learn more about the condition. When you give your consent for your data to be used on a database, the information will be collected by a healthcare worker and sent securely to a central computer. We thought very carefully about how to keep this data secure and make sure that it is protected to the same standards you would expect from the NHS. Your personal information will be incredibly useful. It will be shared with colleagues not only in the UK but also worldwide in Australia, America, Europe and other countries for scientists and clinicians to use anonymously. We're all working to the same ends and having this information lets us match it with similar information about genetics, environmental factors and other biomarkers to understand more about what causes motor neurone disease and work towards developing an effective treatment. Without your help, researchers can't answer these questions and therefore it's a partnership between scscientists and people living with motor neurone disease. We'd really appreciate it if you got involved. Remember you can do this by speaking to your neurologist or registering yourself on our website. Thank you to everyone who has joined the register and to everyone who will join in the future. Together, we will use the register to learn more about your disease.